Hello, you guys. Hey, Jaleese. Hey, y'all. Welcome out, babe. Welcome, 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 welcome. to marriage for real. We yeah. are being intentional on tonight. Yeah. <laughs> welcome, All welcome. Are working for your good. <laughs> if y'all are picking this up, let the heart start to flow. Chill out, heart flow. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Yeah, let's sound it's off. Real. Let's sound off, Periscope fam. <laughs> hey y'all never failing, never failing. <laughs> hey y'all how y'all doing Good tonight to see you guys i love that song i know too. right i know right <laughs> he is intentional yes all things are working for our good hey y'all start sounding off where y'all from if y'all logging in we're gonna give people time to jump in on this room yeah so we can Discuss this controversial topic. I know y'all saw it. Does the ring really matter? <laughs> <laughs> and does it? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. Once again, I'm your brother Dwayne. And I'm Toy. And this is Marriage For Real. For real. Thank y'all for joining us on tonight. If you weren't uh, they're here last night. We uh, actually invited y'all on our little impromptu mini date night. Yes, and we had pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Crock, okay. Crunk. <laughs> What is that? I don't what know is what that, that? is. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Thank you for sharing, Shalisa. All right. Good to see you all on tonight. Everybody she is Lisa Green. I'm sorry. Yes. Hey, y'all uh, sound off. Where y'all watching us from on tonight? We'd like to know where our people at all around the globe. Where y'all watching us from tonight? Sound off. We are in Chicago. We we're are in, in Chicago. Chicago. Right. Walking there got me feeling sick. All right, we're not on Walking Dead right now. We can't talk about Walking Dead. That's on a, a Kapow topic, So Dustin. you're from Ohio and Tennessee and Jersey. Hi, Miss Masterson. Welcome to Marriage Welcome, Real. welcome, welcome. How y'all doing? Good to see you on tonight. So Masterson, New Jersey. I've never been to New Jersey. Detroit? Never, Detroit. All right, sound up. My sister just left here. She's right outside of Detroit in uh, Novi, Michigan. Yes. Novi, Michigan. She's uh, visiting for the weekend. Hi, I want to go outside. Thank you, Miss Tika. Thank you, for St. Saying. Louis. St. Louis. You know, I've we, never been to St. Louis. Well, I have. That's where Chuck is. Well, you is. have yeah. been. I have right, a, I've never been to St. Louis. A member Louis. of my studio, uh, Charles Jenkins, he owns a, uh, a, um, a airbrush uh, t-shirt shop in the big mall out there in St. Louis. Love St. Louis. But you know what? The arch isn't as big as I thought it was. When I went through that, I was like, wow. York, Pennsylvania. Westchester, Illinois. Memphis. I got to get down to Memphis and try that barbecue. Yes. Because I see that on the Travel Channel all the time. And I'm a huge barbecue fan. I don't know. It's, 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 it's a huge mall. It's a huge mall. I don't know exactly which one it is. Um, oh, my gosh. Hold on a second. So, thank you for sharing. I want to go outside. Thank you for sharing. Young Bob, my husband born in Chicago. I was born and raised in Gary, Indiana. South side of Chicago. Yes, ma'am. It's my Jeremiah's mama is on tonight. So, good to see you uh, on tonight. Give, tell my said hello. Um, so, but thank you guys for sharing on tonight. Sharing tonight, we're talking about. Does the ring really matter? Does it? Does it? I know you all are like, what are they talking about? This is marriage for real. Of course, the ring matters. And if y'all ladies, come on, does the ring matter, ladies? Bling, 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 ricochet, rabbit. Miss Tika says no. no. Right. And Okay. You said no. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. No. I think Miss Tika is trying to dial in on where we might be going tonight. Maybe. So, yes, because you know she's married to an incredible brother. Yes, Mr. Chris. Chris. Yes. Yes. And so, so let me tell you what's prompted this this topic. Does the ring really matter? Tell them how to share and how to give hearts. Oh yeah. So, if you're watching us on the Apple device, swipe to the right, hit invite. Okay. If you're watching us on Android, swipe up and hit invite. You can invite on Facebook, Twitter. And uh, let if, if uh, you got somebody who thinks uh, they, you might think they want to see this, hey, tell them uh, to come on and pop in and 
listen to us go on about does this ring really matter? We got a no. We got some yeses. We got some no's. And we don't know. Oh, I don't know any Odoms or Deans. Okay. So, thank you for inviting and tap the screen to show hearts. See all those hearts flowing all those pretty colors? We like the colors. What happens is the hearts, if you all don't, are, are unfamiliar, in Periscope, they help move us up the Periscope uh, to watch ladder. Okay. Yes. It shows that you guys are really vibing with what we're, what we're saying and that uh, it's worth watching and other people uh, will want to log in and to see, oh man, who's this getting all this, all this love here? So you guys make that happen. It's not us. You all make that happen with the, sh with the love that you show. And for our replay viewers, welcome. And welcome. you can tap the screen as well while you're rewatching it. So yes. thank you for watching. And on that note, does the ring really matter? If you guys were with us last night on our impromptu date night, I kind of gave a brief intro as to what prompted this topic for tonight. Uh, it may, we may break this up into a couple of parts, but did you receive the email? I want to go outside. Didn't I reply to you? I think I replied to you. Yeah, I, I, I know you mentioned I want to go outside. Yeah, did, I think I replied. As soon as I hop off, I'm going to check sure. and see. I'll make sure that I did. If, if I did not, I'm going to reply to you tonight. Okay. So, so does the ring really matter? Uh, earlier this week, I was in the gym. Uh, doing my workout, working, doing some basketball drills. You know, brother tries to stay in shape. And a young brother that I once trained came in. I hadn't seen him in a while. And, uh, oh, yeah, I like daddy like. <laughs> anyway, uh, a young brother that I used to work with came in, and um, I hadn't seen him in a while. And he was telling me how he's about to move to Arizona. And I'm like, oh, that's great. And he's like, yeah, man, me and my girl. My girl's already out there. She's got the place for us. And I've been looking for some jobs, blah, blah, blah. And he says, yeah, coach, because uh, everybody calls me coach at the gym. He's like, yeah, coach, uh, uh, we've been together four years, and we're going to go out there and start our life out in Arizona. And I said, all right. I said, okay, good enough. I said, but now if you don't mind, and you, obviously I don't do this to everyone, but he and I have some, come up, somewhat of a relationship. Are you guys picking this up okay? Because somebody's getting a bad connection. Let us know if you guys are picking this up because we're getting a steady flow of hearts. Yeah. Okay, and, so, and we're getting your, your input, but we don't know what you're getting on your end. Okay, but if you're getting a bad connection on your end, log off and log back in. Yes. Okay, because we seem to be pretty okay on this end. Okay. All right, thank you. Okay, so anyway, the young brother said we're moving to Arizona. I said, all right, well, if you allow me, you know, uh, to interject, this is Minister Perry. And for you all don't, who, if, if you all don't know, my wife and I, we always tell you, we are not licensed counselors or certified clinical um, therapist. therapist of, of any kind. We are licensed and ordained ministers. We love the Lord. Everything we give you comes from a spiritual and an experienced place. Yes. That's all we got. And it comes from a place of love. And so anyway, well, what qualifies us? We've been married for over 20 years, raised four beautiful kids. And uh, we've been through this thing, all the highs and lows. You can imagine infidelity, evictions, repossessions, you name it. We've been there. Okay. Zero figures, six figures to zero figures. We've been through all, all of it. Okay. All right. So anyway, he tells me that they're moving to Arizona. I said, if you can allow me just this indulgence as a minister, I said, do you plan on getting married? I said, that all signs fo sounds fine and, fine and well. I said, but are you going to legitimize this thing? And he said, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We, we could. I'm definitely going to marry her. You know, I'm definitely going to marry her. And because um, my woman's been in the sense for seventh and eighth grade and we are not married. Okay, so. Anyway, I said, okay, well, you know, uh, why haven't you done it after four years? You know, what, what's the holdup? And I asked you that same question, person who just popped out. I didn't catch your name. Nisha. Uh, Nisha. Uh, so my question is, what's the holdup? He says, this is what he says to me. Oh, yeah. As soon as I get the money saved up for the ring. I said, really? I said, so that's holding you up from marrying... Uh, the love of your life that you're ready to start a life with, the fact that you have not purchased a ring. And he said, well, yeah, you know. I said, okay. I said, and I can appreciate that. As a man, I can appreciate that. I said, but let me educate you on something. And sisters, feel free to chime in as I continue, okay? And Sister Toy is going to chime in as well because she's my point of reference for this statement that I made to him. I said, I understand the ring means a lot to you. As a man, I said, but take it from an old dog, okay? Take it from a, from a, from, from, we were broken, we got married. <laughs> I said, take it from an old dog. I said, the ring at this point matters more to you than it does to her. I said, that woman, more than anything, she wants to be claimed by you. Mm -hmm. She wants you. 
I say, you want the ring because it shows that you can provide for her. It lets the world know that you love her. It's an open display of what you feel inside. Mm -hmm. I said, but if you were to take her down right now, okay, and say, you know what? Let's do this thing right now. Let's go in front of a judge, pay that little license fee, get married, do this right, and plan a wedding later. I guarantee you she'd be all right with it. Mm -hmm. I said, but you need to make this thing legitimate instead of quit playing house. Yes. And he got quiet. And he said, man, coach, that's kind of deep. He said, I didn't think about it like that. And so my point of reference was this beautiful woman that I married. Okay. Oh, Miss Tika, we're sorry. Still no video for you. Oh, oh. Miss Tika, try to restart your yeah, phone. Yeah, try to restart your phone. It's, it's not about the ring. It's about the covenant between God and you. You're absolute, That's the point that I was making. Yes. Okay. It's about the covenant. It's about, it's about solidifying the relationship and legitimizing the relationship. Yes. When I, when Tori and I, you tell them, you tell them, you tell them how we started off the ring, whole ring scenario. When we first um, got together, like uh, Miss Masterson, we was broke, broke as well, broke. Um, and it's so funny that I would say he never asked me to marry him, ever. I didn't get down on one knee. He, no, you never never asked me to marry I never him did. at all. I never did. Like That's not true. down on one knee, like That's true. never. I never. Asked we just marry always. Him. I think it came to a point where we just knew that we were going to be married. Like that was just like the next step that we just assumed. We were, well, I assumed we was getting married. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that, but we did. Um, Don't let the heart stop flowing. If you're feeling this, and tap. so um, what we did was I think we went to the pawn shop, didn't we? We went to a pawn shop. I went, went to, to a, a pawn, pawn shop. shop, and my first ring, you guys, was from a pawn shop. But for I me, think maybe I paid a hundred bucks for it. Yeah, but for me, yeah. it was more about me being with him. It was more so about... And that ring was pathetic, y'all. It was pathetic. When I say it was pathetic, you had to, you had to spit on it and... <gasps> but y'all, I was like, Suge Avery, and, I's married now. And I mean, it was diamond <laughs> chips and they, were, and they were going gray, okay? It was like gray diamond chips and a little itty bitty paper thin band. I think the band broke on her. It did. Eventually. It broke on it her. It did. It broke. It did. Yeah. Wow. And so and so I think maybe seven, eight years later, I upgraded that ring. Praise the Lord. And Which was stolen. No, not that ring. Oh, not no, that ring. No. Then, I, then oh, I think eight, okay. then maybe three or four years after that, I upgraded again. And that one was stolen. Right. That was yes, that the one, was one that was almost two. It was two and a half. Two and a half carats. Yeah. yeah. Stolen. Which now brother has to replace. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. It's nothing wrong with that. And I think the I think the big topic is and I so so you know you know Mama Perry, so Yes. You know how I come. Yes, you know how we roll. You know how we roll. You know what we stand for, y'all. Y'all been watching. We absolutely I know that you and uh Big Chris have been together for a very long time and that's admirable and that's lovely and that's wonderful. Um but for me as a woman, I was not going to have just have his babies. It was just not going to happen. That was not good enough. No, it wasn't good enough um, because I am the I am of the persuasion of if I'm good enough to have children by, then I'm good enough to marry, right? And so, no, we weren't in the church and things like that when we first got married. Mind you, you got to remember how old she is at this time, y'all. Right. I was 19 years old. She was thinking big. Yes. For 19. Yes. I, um, and I know people say the ring doesn't matter. And some people say the paper doesn't matter. But it does. But it does. It does. And you say, why does it matter? Well, the paper, per se, because, A, if something happened to brother. If you, I, I don't know if you guys... Uh, that Facebook post? Did okay. you ever post that? Yeah, I posted it. Did you all, if you all saw our Facebook post that, that, that my wife posted about common law versus marriage, it was funny, but it was real. Okay? That paper matters. I had this discussion with a young lady at work the other night, and she was first very resistant until, until we, we broke it down. And I told her, I said, you know what, right now, she's like, well, I'm, I'm getting all that anyway. You know, we're not married. I said, no, you're getting that at his allowance. Yeah. You're getting that at his permission. Yes. Okay. The things that you are entitled to, that you feel entitled to, he's allowing you. Yes. To be entitled to. 
you really have no say. Yes. The thing is, you just don't realize it. Yes. Okay, if he decided to skip right now, yes. you're entitled to zip. Nothing. If he, if you all were to get, if you all were just to live together and shack up, if you were the past and mom, brother, sister, or a cousin came in, a cousin, y'all, yes. second cousin twice removed, <laughs> decided, you know what? I want this house. I want this car. Guess what? They get rights before you do. Yep. And that's the scary truth of it. That is the stone cold truth. So does it matter? Absolutely it matters. It matters. Absolutely. See, a lot of people can't understand the spiritual aspect that happens when you get married. They don't understand the, 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 the spiritual event that occurs. The exchange. The exchange. The covenant in the eyes of God. The alteration of God's vision of two separate things becoming one. Okay? A lot of people can't understand that. So let me ask you this. If you can't understand that... If you can't, if you can't understand yeah. that, then maybe you can understand the natural application of it. Okay, what it really means. Now, guess what? Us not being married. If I get mad and I leave, she ain't got nothing to say about it. Nope. I ain't got to come back. Nope. But now that we married, brother can rant and rave all he want to. He got to come back home to me. Brother coming back home. And so you say he got to come back <laughs> got home. Got to come back. He got okay? to. Absolutely. Of if becoming he, one. Yes. If he dies, you get nothing. If he decides to leave, you get yes. nothing. Okay? If he decides to leave, you ain't supposed to. to. You're supposed to come back. Right. Home, right. <laughs> You're supposed to. Okay? And guess what? If he don't, guess what you get? All of it. Yep. <laughs> if, he don't, if he don't come back home, you get all of it. Yes. But if I leave and we're not married and I don't come back home, you still get nothing. Yes. I just have my stuff shipped to where I am. I'm at. Yep. You understand? And so we always say that piece of paper is like this. That piece of paper is going, is going from... When you don't have it, it's like renting. You know, you pick up a move anytime you want to. Something breaks down. The landlord has to fix it. But owning a house, everything in it, if something happens, you got to fix it. And that's what it is like with marriage. When you get married, there is a possession that takes place. Not that I own you, you my property, but there's, there's a, there is a possession that happens. There's a different type of responsibility, a different type of... Of, of of relationship happens a different type of ownership per se happens now i get some rights i have some right to rights to this brother right mm -hmm. now that no other woman in this world can mommy say that she got. has even mommy ain't mommy got ain't them got. rights okay like mm -hmm. i like like i said before if we're not married third cousin twice removed can come and make a claim and the law will give him or her, him or her precedent over you yet you've been with this cat since seventh or eighth grade yes Got all his babies. Yes. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? But guess what? If the babies ain't of age, nothing. Nothing. Yep. If they ain't of age to make a claim, nothing. Yep. Do you, and that's real talk. Do you, you, you all, I hope you understand that. And we're talking about the natural side. Yes. But on the spiritual side, someone made the, made, made the comment because I actually did a little homework before um, uh, this morning on this topic or really where the ring came from. Mm -hmm. Okay? And believe it or not, it came from ancient Egypt, all right? And then the Romans adopted it. it, it initially, it was something that was just as simple as wrapping a reed and, and folding it. And, of course, they broke and they weathered, weathered and whatnot. And, and then the wealthy decided to use more precious metals. And, and guess what? In Rome, when, when the Romans adopted it, the Roman uh, male used it as a sign of ownership over yeah. his woman, a visual sign of ownership that she was spoken for, that yeah. she belonged to a Roman citizen. You, you understand? And then it wasn't until the 1400s where some duke and some duchess decided to say, hey, you know what? I'm going to put, I, you know what? I'm going to give her a ring before we get married and I'm going to put a diamond on it. And that became the engagement ring. Okay? So, yeah. Now, ladies, brother has not forgotten about you. When I'm talking about the ring mattering, I'm talking about all the things that come along with it's symbolism, symbolism of marriage. Yes. We know y'all want y'all blame. Yes. Okay. So I know that it matters in that sense. <laughs> okay. And guess what? For a brother, if a brother's really on his square, I want her to blame. Yes. I want the world. For us, it shows, and, and, and this is actually where it came from. For the male, it showed the ability to provide. Yes. Okay. The ring symbolized when they started making it out of silver and gold and precious metals, it was a display to the world that she belonged to someone that was well able to provide. 
Do you, you, you understand? Well, the peasantry, theirs would be made out of stone or wood or what have you. But when we start using precious metals, those were the rich folks saying, you know what? I got it like that, which means she's got it like that. She's good. Yeah. You, you understand? And for many of us, just like I did with my young brother at the gym, it symbolizes to him, you know, I got to wait because I got to show the world that I can do right by her. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I told him, I said, dude, but guess what? That's not the reason to wait. Yeah. I understand that as a man. I understand that as a man. But you know what? When she's with her friends having those tough conversations, okay? Like, here's the conversation. So, you about to pick up, move your whole life with a dude you not married to. Cricket, cricket. That would make no sense to me. Had cricket, one cricket. of my daughters brought that to me and said, Mom, I'm going to go marry Joe Blow. And, uh, are y'all getting married? <laughs> uh, no. We're moving, though. But we moving to get... Girl, are you crazy? No. No. See, it, it, don't, it, does, it doesn't roll like that over here. And it, sh and it shouldn't be so... Yeah, by Felicia. Felicia. <laughs> not happening. Not happening. Not but, y'all, here's the craziest thing. A lot of women do it. Our sisters are selling for this. Yes. This is the thing that drives me nuts. Okay? The, the young lady at work was settling for this. And this is the common perception. You know, these, these brothers are running game, y'all. I'm just, I'm a brother and I, Wait ran a a, I ran a lot of game. Say it again. They running game. They running game. They running game. And, 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 and sisters, y'all letting them off easy. Okay, just for the sake of having a dude. Just to be able to say, I got a dude. A piece of man. But the dude really ain't claiming you if he ain't willing to marry you. And that's the truth. He ain't really, he ain't claiming you for real. Baby, you know you my girl. Where my ring at, boo? Baby, what you need a ring for? You got access to everything I got. What you mean? What? A ring for what? What's that piece of paper gonna do? That's the white man's piece of paper. Is it? <laughs> girl, don't buy it. Don't act like you ain't heard that, y'all. Don't buy it. Okay? I'm, I'm sure many of y'all watch Love and Hip Hop. Okay? Don't act like y'all ain't heard it. All right? It probably been said to y'all, and y'all being real quiet out there. That's why the heart stopped said, flowing. Remember a promise ring? Right. In the old days. Why were... the heart, so heart stopped flowing? Don't get sensitive. Let the hearts flow. <laughs> right. In the day, in the old days, she said, bye, Fred. <laughs> right. Can't have your kick and eat it too. Hey, Miss Natalie. Hey. Right. In the old days, we would even get a promise ring. I promise to marry you. Now, no. it's none of that. I have a ring, but we're trying to save it for the wedding. Naisa, you know that's me, so this is Mama Perry talking to you. Okay. <laughs> You know, <laughs> you, the, you logged in here, so don't you log out. Now you, you know, <laughs> you and Big Chris can go on down to the Just of a Peace, yeah, make it official and save up for that the wedding. wedding later. Save it up. Yeah, yes. you see this? That's how they talk. Yeah, save up for that. One. Go set. You can still save up for it. Shoot, y'all. Let me tell you how broke we was when we oh first got gosh. together. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! So y'all know, um, only need the ring. That's what we, so look, that's what Miss Tika did. So listen, so we were so broke, right? And so my husband's family, God bless them, came straight from the church and said, y'all now, <clears throat> now y'all know y'all got two kids, right? Uh, when y'all getting married? And we said, well, we can afford to. We can afford to. And they, they said, oh, we got you. We Don't got worry you. about that. Mm -mm. We're going to pay that $30 for y'all license. So got the license. <laughs> Somebody lent me a dress. Yes. Somebody lent him a suit. Lent me a suit, y'all. We went to the church. Everything was borrowed. So Somebody we... baked us a cake. <laughs> right. Somebody... No, babe. We went to Jewel's. And oh, got... we went to Jewel's no, and got our we cake. Went... No, the we grocery store. Went to Jewel's, got the, got the cake on what was then food stamps. Yes. On now it's Link. Yes. But that was 20 years ago. You're talking about the paper pretend money food stamps. 20 years ago. Yes. That was what we did. That's what we and did. And y'all know what? We got married. We got married. 20 years later, my little still brother, married. my little brother was one of my best man. My little son was standing up, Jordan, who's now six, almost six five, standing there. Christian. My son Christian was there, and we probably had his daddy walked me down the aisle. My father walked her down the aisle. Y'all, it was so bootleg, it didn't make any sense. But it was done. But it was done. And it was real. And it and we still married. Yes, 20 years later. So, had we had the money to spend fifteen, twenty, thirty-five thousand dollars on a wedding, perhaps we would have done so. But and she's getting y'all. Hey, hey, and just so you all know, she's getting her wedding, y'all. That's how we're gonna renew our vows. I'm giving her the wedding that she always wanted. And y'all, I got my dress already. It's a Vera Wang a Vera dress. Wayne. And guess who gave that to me? Oprah. Oprah. 
Oprah. That's another story. The sto- Oprah. That's another story. Yes. That's another story. Anyhow, so yes, the ring doesn't matter. It is the, it, the size of the ring, we should say, doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. But what it represents absolutely matters. Yes. She said, can I be the flower girl? <laughs> oh, you will be there. Believe oh it. You will be gosh. there. You will oh be there. Oh, my gosh. You will be there. We're we playing have a-, a treat. And we have, a, with, our, with our renewal, we have a treat and for, for our, our family, our, for our uh, Periscope family, Stay we are tuned. so excited about it. Yes, Stay tuned. we're so excited about it. So yes, the ring does not matter in the sense of the size, but that piece of paper, y'all. She said, "Me too." <laughs> <laughs> that piece of paper, it means everything. We it did, means we, everything. We didn't do a honeymoon. We went back to our little one-bedroom, roach-infested apartment, literally. Wow. Okay. In a minivan. We didn't have a limo. <laughs> All right, if, you, if you saw our, our little Polaroid wedding pictures, we were getting in the back of a minivan, you all. Okay? Y'all was pitiful. It was pathetic. It was pathetic. But, to God be the glory, 20 years later, we stand here, almost 21 years later, stand here still committed, still in love, still pushing, still doing the thing. Right? That's it. Because it wasn't about the ring. It wasn't about. The, it wasn't even about the dollars that we had. You want? You know we wouldn't hear that. I know y'all wouldn't hear that story about Oprah. I know, right? <laughs> y'all. Oh. Go ahead. You want to tell Real it? quick. Go ahead. She can tell it. I'm gonna sit back. Real quick. So like, it was about God and love. So so listen, you guys, and let me just tell you. This just proved to me. It was sacred. It was very sacred. It was. The dress proved to me how faithful God is and that he does not forget. He does not forget. Like the things that you have on your mind, he said, Lord, did he say roaches? We, we did. We like, did. y'all, we look. We, we Our had, refrigerator was pulled out of an alley. Yes. And it had a roach nest in it. Yes. That we tried to smoke bump all the roaches <laughs> out because that's Don't all Don't talk we about had. us. Okay. <laughs> Y'all don't get me started. Finish telling us the Oprah story. Okay, here's the Oprah story. Okay, here's the Oprah story. So, um, I was going through my email and some years ago, I had subscribed to Oprah's email and I never really, I never really paid attention to the emails that came through ever. Um, and so one day I'm cleaning out my email box and there's an email from Auntie O and it says, um, have, did you have a wedding disaster or would you, if you could, would you have a wedding do over? Or do you have a wedding dress disaster? Please send us your story. So I said, you know what? She said the story we just told y'all. The story we just told you all? (laughs) I typed it up real quick and sent it over. And like four hours later, one of the producers calls me back, right? Four hours. And so they were like, you know, your story was awesome. Yeah, we kind of like it. If we're interested, we'll give you a call. Okay. Call didn't come for some days. Then a call came and said, we got a couple tickets for you just to come to the show. I said, that's nice to go to the Oprah show. Shoot, you go to Oprah, you're going to get something. I'm like, they can give me a whole year's worth of Twinkies. <laughs> I'll be excited about it. <laughs> um, and so I said, okay. So I you know I took my mother-in-law at the time who had been diagnosed with cancer at that time. So I'm like, you know what? Nay, let's go to the Oprah show, right? So we go to the Oprah show and we're sitting in the, I'm sitting in the audience. So I'm not on the stage. So I know I don't have anything coming. I may get something under my seat, <laughs> but I'm okay with something that leaves my seat. Cause that's how Oprah, Oprah show, does it. Yo. And so we're looking at the stage and I'm like, oh, I'm listening and wait for the show to start. And I hear this little Asian lady's voice in the back. I'm like, that's Vera Wayne. Like, I know that voice. <laughs> Y'all, Vera Wayne came out on that stage. And it turns out that the whole audience was filled with uh, wives. not wives or women get, getting ready to get married or had a married disaster. Every single woman in that audience got to pick out their own Vera Wang dress. Woo! Sister was one of them. Thank you, Oprah. And on top of that, I got a $4,000 gift card to go to the Marriott. Won't he do it? And then on top of that, I think I got a Coles gift card. Yep. Won't he do it? I mean, just like, thank you, God, for favor. So that dress is still in my closet. Now I got to lose weight to get into it. <laughs> <laughs> so we got some time. Uh, <laughs> yes, but isn't that awesome? Like, 
that thing had been on my heart. My sisters, my si my sister in laws had these big, beautiful weddings. I'm like, oh, this is so wonderful. So happy for them. This is beautiful. But God, like, girl, I got you. He's faithful, Nikki. Okay, yes, shout music. Dum, 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 dum. Woo! Yes, won't he do it? So, yes. <laughs> My Vera Wang dress is sitting in my closet right now in its bag, waiting to be unveiled to the masses. Woo! Anywho, moving on. But look at God's faithfulness. He's so faithful. Now, that doesn't <laughs> let me off the hook. Don't get me wrong. Because I don't want to be let off that hook. Because I love her and I want the world to see finally what I feel that she was entitled to the whole time. But look how the Lord rewarded the faithfulness of the act. Yep. See, had there not been a test, there would not have been a testimony. Yes. Okay. The test was, do you trust me enough <laughs> to go ahead and get married with nothing? Okay. Yes. Brother was working. And here's the thing. When you just said that, it's not about, the test is about, do you honor marriage? Yes. That much to do it. Even if you ain't got all the... All the bells and whistles. The bells and whistles. You ain't got all the dollars in a row. But because you know that God honors marriage, will you do it and not shack up? Will you do it and not fornicate? Oh, we did it, so we're not judging. We're not judging. We just saying it still ain't right, even though it we did right. it. ain't right. That's what we're saying. It ain't right. We it did right. it. Just because we did it, it didn't right. make it right. Right. Period. Okay? That's, it is what it is. Um, but marriage is an honorable covenant between yes. you and your spouse and God. You do yours all over again. Absolutely, Miss yeah. Hinkle. So would I. I would do it I the would exact marry her same all way. Over again. All over again. Absolutely, I would. And, and, and what it did was for us. Go ahead. Go ahead. It was not the way that my. The thing about it is, is that scripture that comes to my, that my mind that says, a man who finds a wife findeth a good thing. And he finds favor with the Lord, right? And so there's some things that will not happen for you until yes. that covenant of marriage happens. There's some things that's wrapped up and God's waiting for things to do and to happen. But it'll happen with you yes. and this dude, or not this dude, your dude. <laughs> this is my dude, y'all. <laughs> Get your own dude. Uh, <laughs> put that thing together. And you're like, you know I'm, some things ain't working out. How come this is happening and that's happening? Well, you're living foul. You just are living outside of God's will for your life, right? And so marriage puts you in the will of God concerning you two being together and being a unit, right? Yes. Go ahead. And what you have what you all have to understand is, you know, the whole wedding thing, that was for the most part, that's for the world to see. Yeah. That's a that's a declaration to the world. And I get its importance. I yeah, do. Because is. like, as I said, as a man, it shows that I'm on my square. Mm -hmm. It lets the world know that it, back to the old dowry mentality. It lets the world know that I can afford to take care of mine. Mm -hmm. But for her, it declares to the world that she's valued and that she's claimed. Mm -hmm. Okay, because no one wants to claim something that doesn't have any value. Yeah. Do you understand? And hear me when I say this, sisters. I'm not trying to belittle you when I say that. I'm letting you know that I, I get it. Because everybody wants to be claimed. Yes. And I don't care how much you say that you don't. I don't care how much independence you claim. I'm every woman. It's all in me. You do want to be claimed. I don't want to date no man who don't. Who, I don't want to date, boy. That's that Kentucky. That's that Kentuckiness coming out in me. <laughs> I don't want to be with anyone. Um, <laughs> that's the Oprah talk. That's the Oprah talk. <laughs> who don't want to claim me? Like, dude, like you. You was getting the cookie. You even got some kids out of me, right? But I ain't good enough to marry. Mm. As someone said, bye Felicia, bye Fred, bye somebody. No, that's not gonna work. Not gonna work. And and if you all are if you all are watching this and this is resonating with you, or you know someone that's in the situation, refer them to this to this broadcast. Yeah. Okay. Because this is running roughshod through our community. Yeah. It really it, is. Y'all, I know how you all. We always talk about you know some sometimes sometimes the um, 
ministry that we do. And we talked about it one time before about us going into the juvenile detention center and the young kids could not believe that we were married. Mm -hmm. Marriage has become a thing of a dream for our community. It's become the unicorn. It's like you married? Yeah, it, it's become the leprechaun. You mean you don't live together? That's what they think it is. Right. That's that's how they come to redefine it. You mean y'all y'all married married? Like y'all y'all really y'all went to a church and got married. Y'all went to the Justice of the Peace and got married for real. Listen, you all, when we tell you the years that we've spent in our juvenile detention ministry. It's it's becoming extinct. It's becoming it the way of the dodo. These kids honestly it's true. These kids honestly did not believe that we there, then? that we were that we were legally, legitimately married. Okay? When she had her rock, before her rock was stolen, they were like, are you serious? Look at that ring. Yeah. Y'all married, married? Yeah, we're married. On the right finger and everything. <laughs> you, you, you know what I'm saying? Seriously. I think when a couple have a wedding after they've been married, gone through ups and downs, it's special. It is. It is. It you is. know what it is? And it's so funny at... um. At this stage of the game, because what I said I wanted in my wedding is like all of my siblings except one, and and on my side and his side, we're married. And I said I wanted all of them and their husbands to stand up in 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 our in our wedding because nowadays, as someone said before, marriage has become extinct between a man and a woman, right? Right. It's it's it's, like, it's now like a unicorn. Like, oh, you're married, you know? But it's still something that is awesome it is still something that is god ordained yes. it is still honorable no matter how many people get a divorce if you feel or that, how many people flow. feel like it's not special anymore yes. no matter how many people say you don't have to do it let them hearts flow if y'all feel you this. it is necessary it is necessary if god thought it to be necessary it is still necessary just because we don't want to make it that way or because it's not comfortable or because, hey, we don't want to give up our benefits or because we don't want to do so many th different things, it's still honorable. It's still the right thing to do. And, and listen, like I said, I, talking to this young lady at work the other night, so many people think that they don't need it because they have all this carte blanche access to their significant other's stuff and time yeah like i said that is only by his or her permission yep see she doesn't get access to my stuff by my permission now it's hers yep it's hers y'all yep. <laughs> okay everything i got is hers yeah she don't need permission yes okay Hi, minister wine it's hers to do with as she will yes oh you, do you understand and vice versa yes there's nothing that she can get them glasses on her face that hat if I want to wear it, I can because it's mine. <laughs> now, I ain't trying to wear it because it's chick stuff. Mm -hmm. But that's the depth of the commitment. Yeah. And you don't want, you shouldn't be living on somebody else's permission. Don't be listening, living on somebody else's I permission. My sister's husband, her boyfriend, oh, they've been married for three years. Oh, well, yeah. that's sweet if he's that's still sweet. seeing that. I like that. It's still, if he's seeing them in that type of relationship right. where they lovey dovey, that's a good thing. That's, a that's beautiful. Thing. Yes. But yeah, you know, we live in a society today where just marriage between a man and a woman is like, uh, that's not necessary because so many people don't get married anymore. They don't. Or so many people get married and then getting a divorce or. Or getting married, like you oh, know, like the, like the Kardashians got married for how long? Yes. Blessings to you. Blessings, blessings. They got minister. married for how long? For like what? Oh my gosh. What? Eleven hours or something like that? Yeah. It's like it's, it's, it's marriage has been made a mockery nowadays. Yeah. Like it's no longer a thing that is admirable, but it still is. And it still matters. It still has so many rewards for the couple. It's no, it's not the new apartment. Yeah, it's the new. It's, it's, it's the yeah, new apartment. It's the yes. new apartment. Yeah, marriage is hard work. You have you to have work, to work at, it. at it, and that's why we call marriage for real. We've been through some stuff, you all. We didn't get here twenty years later because it was it wasn't wow. work. That's all you see is mothers, families, boyfriends, no husbands. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. See, and that's the reality of it. That's that's the age we live in. As a matter of fact, you know, you just said that reminded me. I remember walking into um. I was telling our kindergarten class, we was doing a thing, and they're asking, Miss Perry, what you doing this weekend? And I said, I have a date this week. And they said, oh. oh okay. And they said, are you going out with your boyfriend? I'm like, no, I'm going out with my husband. Some kindergartners were asking me that. They said, you married, Miss Perry? 
Yes, I'm married. You ain't got a boyfriend? They think everybody has a boyfriend. No, I'm booed for life, y'all. <laughs> booed for life. Booed for life. You know, for to real. death do us part. Yes. Um, but there's something that we have to do. We have to. How do y'all feel about couples who've been married for thirty plus years? And you a know tragedy. What? I could not even imagine. It's a tragedy. Being married for thirty years. <laughs> for nothing. For and getting divorced. Seriously, I I I, I can't <laughs> imagine that. It, it it's like taking all your money and investing it. And then just walking away. And walking away. Yeah, you done watch the market go up and down. All these circles. You got all these millions stacked up. And you just walk away. Yeah. See, if we put a dollar value on marriage, very few people would walk away. Yeah. It, seriously. If, if there was a, a, an equivalent dollar value granted for every year of marriage, for every hardship you endured, for every argument that you worked out, for every compromise that you made... Do you, you, you understand? For every child that you had, if, if the government said, we will match that dollar for dollar, nobody would walk away. Nope. But you're going to walk away after 20, 30? Let me tell you something. You're getting excited, Listen, y'all. They, they would stay bound. They would, Minister DeWitt. They would stay bound. They would. Wan, they would stay bound. They would stay in it. They would ball and chain together forever. Yep. Okay? As long as that paper kept flowing in. Yep. You understand? But we don't equate that. We don't give that the investment of emotion. We don't give the invest, investment of love. We don't give the investment of time. We don't give the investment of energy. We don't give that a value. Okay? We walk away too quickly. That's true. Some people don't know what a healthy marriage is or look like. That's true. Let me and, and, and to Dwayne's point, I'm going to add to that. When you, I know that you are probably beautiful men and beautiful women out in the streets here on Periscope. And I'm sure you're pretty attractive and somebody in the streets looks at you all and, yes. and, you know, and, and want to connect with you all, connect with you all. Yes. But this is what I say. When a man looks at me, he's looking at who God made me and who my husband helped mold me to be. When You're a nice woman person. looks at him, she's looking at who God has made him to be and who I've helped mold him to be. She's looking at all toys, hard work. You're looking at my hard work, boo. I did that. Like, me and God did that. And you think you going to come in here and walk away with it with them legs? Boo, not happening. Not happening. We going to have to fight, somebody, right? Somebody going to get cut. Somebody's getting cut, right? <laughs> That's not happening. Some people stay t together yes. for their kids and then divorce after their kids leave. That's true. Yes. So Y'all gonna make me cry. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Some it's people, very true. Some people do stay together um, for that, and I don't understand it. And I understand why, because we all know that it's a more emotionally healthy if it's a healthy environment in the house. Can we? Can we? Can we just talk black and white for a second? Okay. Okay. Let's just talk black and white for a second. We're talking the, the great cultural divide. I just had uh, th those. Some of you may have seen the scope previously, where I talked to, to you all about a gentleman that I worked with who's in that same situation. Actually, he 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 just left today. She said her parents did it for thirty five yeah. years. Yeah, he just left Black today. Family. And but no, but we're talking we're talking generic, generally speaking. Mm -hmm. That is some, and he's a Caucasian uh, brother. But that is something. Oh, thank you, Minister. Thank Warren. you so much. That is something that, as sad as it is, I get it. Okay. And I've seen it predominantly in Caucasian cultures where mom and dad will be roommates for the better part of 20 or 30 years for the sake of raising their child because they understand the value of a two-parent household yes. developmentally for their children. Yes. And when they feel that the children are mature enough to handle the separation and on their own, when they've done all that they can do, they walk away. I, I we don't condone it. I'm telling you, I understand it. Okay, There's a methodology to it that you have to appreciate. The sad thing is, in our culture, that is not the case. Predominantly so. We know it's the. We know there's some special case, some some special cases out there, but predominantly so, we quit. Yeah, we done. We be up. We, we done. Be up. Uh uh. The kids be all right. They be all right. They be all right. <laughs> Daddy gone. How do I know? Because I was a police officer for for the better part of 20 years in Chicago. We ministered for 10 years plus in the juvenile detention center. That was the common denominator that mom and dad were not together. And on that note, think about it. Think about it. Yeah, you have to surround yourself you, with like-minded like people. people. That's true. Yes. yes. We, we, are, we are such proponents of marriage and fighting for your marriage. Not fighting in your marriage, fighting for your marriage. Because we understand the effects 
that good marriages have on communities, have on churches, yes. have on schools, have on kids, have on the world, yes. period. That's why the enemy fights your marriage so hard because you stand for something where two are joined together. There is the Lord amongst them. I mean, one shall chase a thousand, but two, two. is going to put 10,000 to fight. Yes. If you really understood how powerful if you that understood you God's are as man. a couple, you would fight, you would fight for your marriage. And when you see other couples ready to throw in the towel, you would say, oh, oh, no. No, wait a second. Can wait, we, hold up. Can hold we up. just talk to you for a moment? If we could yes. get you to understand, right, that's God math. God, when man. you understand how important it is, the that ripple effect that it has, that your marriage far extends what happens between you all in the house. We got so many babies, y'all, that ain't our babies that we gave birth to. Yes, because they, we are mama and daddy yeah, parents. Even to them, and that's how they see us. And it's not that we go out of our way to parent them. Yes, it's because of the visual that they see when they see us together. Okay, because they're not used to seeing that in their own house. We have so many pseudo children. And now grandchildren. And now pseudo grandchildren. We were at the game the other night, and I'm posting. My, my people are like, you got another grandson? I'm like, well, you just don't understand. You understand? But it's the way that they look at us because of our marriage. Yeah, and it hasn't been perfect. It hasn't been perfect. It hasn't, but you know, we made a commitment to each other that no matter what happened, that we were going to work it out. That we, we, we're we going to do what we had to do to make it work. That's it. You got to make it. It's not easy, you guys. I know there's plenty of days where I felt like driving away, and I'm sure he did too, throwing in a towel, saying, deuces, dude. I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah. Plenty. plenty. Countless. Plenty. Countless. And some days, you guys, we stayed for the kids. It was like, you know what? Sometimes the kids were just the anchor. The kids were our anchor. They were the anchor that kept us... Plugging away at it yep. while we actively worked out our Thank junk. Thank you for those green hearts. Thank you for those hearts. The kids, sometimes the kids were the anchor. They were the hub that yeah. kept us coming home while we worked out our junk. Yep. Now the key word was while we worked out our junk. Yep. They anchored us while we intentionally worked out our issues. And that's the whole point. While we intentionally worked it out. We just wasn't staying together for the kids and waiting for them to go somewhere and then we were going to divorce. We were working it out. People study for everything else but how to be a husband and a wife. You're absolutely that is right. true. You're that is true. Right. And, and nowadays, uh, Ms. Masterson, what examples are they seeing? They're not seeing it on TV. Definitely not on television. You know, they're not seeing it at school. Nope. They're not seeing it. Um, you, the funny thing, you know, they're not seeing it in their communities. Nope. You know, the, the, the sad thing is, I, I, and, and I, I read there's this. No examples, there's no yeah. examples. And, 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 and this is a fact. People retain up to 80% more of information that is visual yep. than is ever spoken or, or even read. It's visual. Yes. It's what they see. And, when and, somebody said, I'd rather, I'd rather see a testimony than someone tell me one. Yes. That's the truth about marriage. That's the truth about marriage. And, and the sad thing show, shows you how, how the script has been so drastically flipped. Just 40, I'm 43 years old. Okay. This came from my mom and my dad. 40 to 50 years ago, if you got divorced, you were getting the side eye. Like, what's wrong with you? What were you on? Mm -hmm. Okay. 40, 50 years ago, divorce was something you just did not do. Mm-hmm. You just didn't do it. And again, while we're saying that we're not proponents of abuse in marriage. Right. We're not that. We're not saying we're not that. We're not saying that, but we're talking about the arguments. The, the financial other, issues. The financial issues. The kids. The kids. You leaving because y'all broke. No. You stay together and you figure out how to make some money. Because she don't cook. Well, you okay. knew that before you got married that right. she didn't cook. 